Well, this is the mundane part of beekeeping. Going off to our second hive inspection for the getting into the brood box. It's a nice sunny day here today. So we've done, I don't know, more than half. We've got this little bit left to go. So we thought we'd pick today because tomorrow's meant to be a bit shit. So we'll figure something else out to do tomorrow. So we put these ladies out here on the bit of river flat over the hill there. Hopefully they're going to get some beautiful river red gum flowers going on down there. So hopefully they get a bit of that nectar, which would be kind of cool. And we've just put them here because we had a bit of a fruit fly outbreak where they were before. So there was a bit of excitement. So they're a bit, bit a little bit haphazard. <laughs> so they got a bit of a bit of a move beforehand. You didn't get to see that because I couldn't wait because they were doing all the baiting and spraying and excitement that goes on with fruit flies. The other hive tools in the ute somewhere. I lost one the other day. It's really common, I think, losing hive tools. They seem to disappear. <laughs> Which is a bit of a worry. But anyway, I guess that's why the beekeeping shops stay in business, because us beekeepers keep losing shit. <laughs> right, we're just gonna make a bit of chlorine because we're doing a um, brood box inspection, so we're just gonna mix up a bit of bit of sanitization. So hopefully that'll, if we, well, hopefully we don't find anything, but even if we do, don't, we will just give everything a bit of a wash. Normally I'm not quite that fussy when I'm on the honey chamber, but you know, we're playing around in there, playing around in their lounge room. No, the kitchen, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the brood box would be relative to our existence. Well, I'm guessing someone's gonna write in and say you should do this even for your honey super. Back to read that bloody book again. <laughs> Any idea? What does this say? How much of this crap we should put in here? It says put some in there before it stinks. You know the interesting stuff with bleach and ammonia? Apparently if you put it in hot water it doesn't work so good. So that's a bit interesting isn't it? Where the fuck did that other hive tool go? Oh shit! <laughs> Oh well, that means I'm on my own. I thought I brought one for you. Bloody hell. I could always give you that as a hive tool. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, anyway, it'll turn up. It's in here somewhere. Well, it has to be somewhere, surely. <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? <sighs> this is why you should check your shit before you go anywhere. <laughs> anyway, I tell you, I've got a good idea. I'll put John in charge of scribing. That'll save me that job. <laughs> <laughs> writing down what was what we found or hopefully didn't find so we're just starting to get into the fun part of the year when you can't light your smoker on a tidal fire band day so oh but anyway when it's bloody 44 degrees who wants to be running around in a bee suit anyway <laughs> oh, anyway here we go what if i give this lad the notebook what do you reckon do you reckon that'll work <laughs> righty oh well i guess we just start at the start and away we go oh, hopefully we'll be home for dinner going on in here. Oops, looks like they're ready for a top bit. We need to get one of those cool little stands that Kerry had. It must be on the shopping list I reckon. Oh, hello everybody says what the hell are you doing in here? I think we might need to get a top on this one when we come back. Anyway, they've got a bit more excited in the last week. And we'll just check this outside one and then we'll tell you. Then I'll walk you through it on the next middle frame because there shouldn't be too much going on out here but except a bit of honey. Yeah, it's suspected there's not too much other than a bit of honey. And normally on the outside frame there's nothing too exciting going on. But going forward we'll have a look here. I wonder if I should put my eyes on but I think I can see pretty good. Well, all in all they look alright to me. I mean there's a little bit of scattering going on there but I can't see any anything sunken or bad looking these haven't been requeened for a little bit anyway so she's probably not the most fantastic layer it's a bit of a laborious task you check every bloody frame <laughs> these girls are a little bit excitable boys in the bottom corner there but that's still all right I think it's 
so far so good number one down <laughs> of course you're just looking for um all the different diseases that they can get a bit of like there's a couple of things i'm looking for really is to make sure that this queen is still up to speed and i don't have to get some new queens before the season for new queens is over but also going through the brood chamber you're looking at getting um you know if you've got any european fowl brood which is bad enough but god forbid if you've got american fowl brood that's an even bigger head spin because you know, there's no real cure for that one except to set fire to everything and i don't know how you set fire to these foam boxes getting enough trouble when you bloody burn plastic as it is so anyway we'll cross that bridge when we come to it i guess you get them irradiated instead because you can send them off for that uh, then you look for I don't know what's the other excitement down from that chalk brood is a bit of a pain and you're just looking for a strength maybe you're thinking about amalgamating if they're not up to speed so you don't want the bloody wax moth taken over because they're a painful little exercise and of course with these ones being that they haven't got a a super yet you're just actually working on whether they're up to speed to do that bit which i think this box is so yeah that's pretty much and of course there's heaps of other blooming bits and pieces but that's what we're here today for well, that's what we're looking for well and hopefully we don't find any because that's kind of crap if you do radio so we're going to put down here paradise i don't know lot one you reckon so now <laughs> and hive one through dick and we got two, I guess he is, two, 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 three, four, six, seven. Of course, once you get over a certain amount of hives, I think it's, shit, is it 50 now? Anyway, whatever it is, once you get over a few, I think it's, oh, it might be 20. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm over it, so I'm not pretty sure. So you've got to start writing down some records about what you're doing when you're checking things. And if you find anything reportable, then of course you've got to ring up and report it and get all excited and um do that so yeah hopefully we find nothing nothing to report oh you got that down pat oh yeah shut up and taking notes as well as keeping it smoking is all fun and games lady's got herself stuck upstairs well that's a bit of a worry oh well, that's looking like a pretty good brood pattern to me i think they're a little bit confused as to what the bloody hell just happened but still anyway <laughs> all righty well that's one section hopefully a little bit like chalk broad brood to me being that it's sort of a bit floppy when you can shake it out because it was so yeah it's just chalk brood which is just another fun disease hanging around here so so that's not terrible because they'll clean that up throw it all out the front they got some nice new larvae coming on so it's not a heap laying on the bottom of the box so sometimes when it's really bad infection you get a heap laying on the bottom that looks pretty nice I haven't even seen one queen yet though. I've seen plenty of evidence of her, but I haven't seen a queen. Which is a bit of interesting, isn't it? Though with this project, you don't really need to see the queen anyway. So, as long as you can see where she's been. I don't know, that looks a bit weird, what's that? Uh, where's your matchsticks, lad? Dry it out, so I don't know. And then there's got some holes here, so. 
Mm, doesn't seem to be any moisture in there. But there's something bad going on, but it's not not sticky. Our brood. No, I don't know what that is. You know you're living in the Riverland when it's pissing down rain, it's blowing its ass off, you're sitting in your car with the air conditioning on. Things are a little bit haywire here in the weather patterns. But anyway, we'll see what happens. We, we just about made it before the rain come. We had one box left to check, so that'll be another day's job. But we're not doing, we're not pulling shit apart in the rain because they don't like that at all. The girls were getting a little bit psycho. They knew the rain was coming, so. But anyway, all looks good. I don't think we found anything bad, so. I don't know, we'll go and check a couple of others if the weather calms down and then we should be, we'll be all finished for another six months. So, well, anyway, that's the routine. So don't forget to do your two boxes in your backyard either. <laughs>